We had cameras on the Jazz team bus pulling into the arena. The players exuding confidence as we get set to get the action started. The NBA on 2K Sports, presenting an exciting Monday night game. Alongside Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg, I'm Brian Anderson. We'll talk to Ali LaForce, who's on the sidelines as well. So let's take a look at the starters for the Utah Jazz. Collins and Kessler playing up front. Colin Sexton out there with Chris Dunn. And it's Wilson in at the three. And for Denver, Gordon and Jokic the combo inside. Netting the backcourt, it's Murray and KCP. And it's Porter in at the three spot. Clark, the assist numbers from these teams, just wow. They are always looking to make that extra pass. And you know, that kind of mentality, B.A., is contagious. It really goes a long way. Everybody buying in to not just getting a good shot, but going from good to better to best shot. And the Jazz start out with the ball. Done with it. MP outside. Driving inside. Oh, MP throws it down. Let it show MP some pizzazz on that flush. Murray looking around. Pass to Jokic. The rebound by the Jazz. And this game, the first chance they've had to see Denver. And these two teams will face off against one another four times. <laughs> it should be fun. Yeah, plenty of opportunity here, guys, to get on each other's bad side. I mean, if they weren't already. Should make for some fairly high drama. Sexton misses. And so it's Jokic who brings up the ball for the Denver Nuggets. Last game matched up with the Thunder. Tough loss there. <laughs> on the road, they got owned defensively. They just couldn't match the activity level of their opponent. And you know what, guys? It just seemed like they never really had the kind of energy necessary. They just weren't comfortable on the defensive end. Well, Clark, after seven seasons as the guy in Orlando, Aaron Gordon is embracing a new role. Well, you know, he's become more efficient. He's taking fewer shots. He's shooting at a much higher percentage, especially from deep. But the thing that really stands out for me is Gordon has embraced and relished being a defender doing the dirty work. And with his athleticism and size, he's a formidable defender because of that. MP finds Collins. Outside for Sexton. The three is up. Porter pulls it in. And maybe they're a little too excited today. They need to settle down. They've opened up one for four. And he's going for the lob. And then Porter with the dunk. Beautiful catch and flush right there by Porter Jr. gliding into that alley-oop. Now here's Dunn, defended by Murray. MP outside. And it's good. Fought through contact, hit the shot, and will go to the line. And finally getting to full strength last season, the Nuggets showing how great they can be, Grant. Well, the franchise's first ever championship, EA. And you look at all their top players just entering their primes. Plenty of runway left ahead of them. You know, one of the things I think that makes MP so fun to watch is how much fun he's having out there. You can tell the thrill of the game never gets old for this guy. Now here's Murray. His last outing had 18 points. Jokic, good. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Utah trailing here. Dunn, pass to Kessler. Screen by MP. Back to Dunn. Pass to Wilson. Here he goes. Back to Dunn. Let's the three fly. He drops it from range. You know, this is something Dunn's trying to work on, firing off the catch, becoming more fluid, a little less robotic. Outside Murray. Outside Porter. Gordon with a screen on MP. Just five to shoot. The Nuggets need to get one up. Here's Caldwell Pope. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. For Utah, they've gone three of six from the floor. 
Dunn, pass to Collins. Back to Dunn. Pass to MP. And looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows, or they'll call. Here's Watson. Here's Jordan. Pass to Murray. Over Clarkson. And another miss by Denver. And here's MP. He'll bring it up for the Utah Jazz. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with Phoenix. Yeah, we know that on the road, you're already a little out of your element. Then the misses from the line become contagious. And you know, one of the things about missing free throws is not only are you not getting points yourself, but it allows the other team to maintain momentum or keep a rally going. To the inside, here's Brown, and he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. And the clever passing of Murray, really moving the ball well around the court. Seven-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. George passes to Clarkson. It's good. Set up beautifully by George. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. The Nuggets trail. And here's Murray. No points so far. Three-pointer. Here's Jordan. Oh, no good on the last second attempt there. And so the first quarter is in the books. It's the Jazz up by four. And back to the start of the second quarter in just a moment. here for Utah. Kessler, he's checked in for Olenek. Wilson comes in for Markkinen. Colin Sexton's checked in for Clarkson. And it's done in for George. Pass to Dunn. Back to Collins. Porter against MP. Now here's Kessler. Kicks it out to Collins. Now MP. He had a 24-point outing in their last game against the Suns in Phoenix. And here's Sexton. Just two to shoot. Let's it fly. Set it up with a fake, but it's offline. Clean look from mid-range. Coach will probably want to run that play again. On the perimeter, KCP and Porter Jr. Gordon and Jokic the combo inside. And it's Murray in at the point guard position. That's the group in the game for the Nuggets. MP is screen on Murray. Pass to Wilson from behind the arc. Nikola Jokic grabs the miss. The Nuggets have gotten only three of nine attempts to fall in the second. You know, we hear the term point forward a lot. Clark, is it fair to call Nikola Jokic a point center? I don't have any issues with the B.A. I mean, he facilitates as a big guy with the ball in his hands like a guard at times. So point center works, but he's more than that. He's your two-time MVP is what he is. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. A new look Jazz roster seemed primed for a rebuild, but they're winning games. Coach Will Hardy said, I think it's amazing that this group has figured out a way to put personal agendas aside and go out and compete every night. Well, he's been a big part of it, Allie. Thank you. Caldwell Pope, the pass to Murray. Counted from distance. Now just a one-point Jazz lead. That's his second triple this quarter. I guess he's left that dry spell behind. Pass to Wilson. 105 left to play in the first half of basketball. Don outside. Now MP to snap the cold streak. Denver grabs the miss. Jokic has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Outside Murray. And it's rejected. 
MP against Porter. MP getting it done inside. You have to like the composure that MP had to get that finish inside. Denver has gone three of six from outside in the second quarter. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. That one on Kessler. At the line for Denver. He misses the free throw. And when healthy, Murray is a force. A force to be reckoned with because he can go get baskets against tough defense, and he can also make plays for others. And the Nuggets making a change here. Jordan's checked in. And a switch here also for Utah. Markkinen's checked in. Now here's Dunn. Two-second difference between shot and game clock. MP with a step. Off with the layup. Outside Murray. And another miss by Denver. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. It's the Jazz. They're up by two. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. Hello, everybody. No lack of drama tonight. The Utah Jazz might be taking this one all the way down to the wire. The effort we've seen from the bench so far, it really helps to keep this kind of depth. Guys who can come in on the offense. And now we turn our attention to the Western Conference standings here in the early going. You look at the Jazz, they started this season on the right foot, something we kind of expected given their offseason. We'll see if this is a pace they can maintain as the year rolls on. Thanks for tuning in. Now we head back to... And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. One guy who's been getting it done is Jamal Murray. Yeah, he's kind of been the floor general for them tonight. A lot of assists for him. And, you know, that's not a job they ask him to do very often. But in the first half, I thought he was in perfect sync with his teammates. So the Utah Five right now. Collins and Kessler playing up front. Chris Dunn is out there with Colin Sexton. And it's MP in at the three slot. That gives them the lead. Porter's got five. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. MP, a screen on Caldwell Pope. Pass to Wilson. Well, Clark, with teams playing at such a fast pace now, it's often a choice between transition defense and offensive rebound. I think that's somewhat true. I think that was always a choice, but even more so today. I think you're right, Brian, because teams now are playing typically at a faster pace. I always value the ability to get second shots. I think you can balance the floor defensively, but I think rebounding on the offensive end still has to be part of how you attack, especially if you've got guys that are good offensive rebounders. He drops yet another dive, just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Well, when you look at the assist totals, hey, they've been clearly the better team. Now here's MP. He has six. To the paint. Here's Kessler. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's on Nikola Jokic. Yeah, you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's the message they were sending with that foul. Nothing easy inside. And he misses the second one as well, so 0 for 2 that time. Back to Murray. For three. Kessler with a rebound. Utah trailing here. Pass to MP. He takes it in. MP knifing through for the bucket. And the work that MP puts in, it shines through during every hoop he makes. Now a timeout called by Denver. Failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something that needs to change and change soon. I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots.
Murray passes to Porter. The rebound by MP. MP's got rebound number five here tonight. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Don outside from deep. MP. Rebound by the Nuggets. Jokic has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Caldwell Poe finds Murray. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Murray's got nine points. Yeah, first and foremost, he's a pass-first team player, is Caldwell Pope. Love seeing that. The Nuggets making a switch here. Jackson is checked in. The Jazz have gone just one of three in the second half. And Grant, last season, Nikola Jokic came close to winning his third straight MVP. But in the end, he won something more precious, an NBA title. And that finals MVP award more meaningful, both personally and in terms of his legacy, being a winner is what matters in the end. Murray, no good. Yeah, he just flat out tricked that one, missed it, and has no one to blame but himself. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Aaron Gordon has been a hand-in-glove fit in the Nuggets front court alongside Nikola Jokic. Gordon said it's the perfect situation to, quote, showcase my well-roundedness as a ball player. The guy who can fill in, do a little bit of everything on the offensive end, and then make it a frustrating night for the other team's best players. Brian? Allie, thank you. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. Dunn with it. Caldwell Pope covering. Wilson passes to Dunn. MP is screen on Jackson. Murray against Sexton. Over Murray. Here's Kessler. Nice work on the boards. Paying off with a basket. Kessler's got his second bucket of the night. As usual, terrific effort from him. Unwilling to let the possession go to waste. Jokic with a screen on Sexton. Crosses over. And he comes up with a bucket. This has been the reoccurring theme of the second half. Inconsistency getting stops. MP outside. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And the defense knows they got to cover MP very close. But he gets physical and exploits the coverage there for a foul. For the Nuggets, Jordan's checked in for Jokic. Watson comes in for Gordon. And Brown subbed in for Caldwell Pope. So Utah going with an almost entire new group here. Olenek's checked in for Kessler. Markkinen comes in for John Collins. Clarkson's checked in for Sexton. And it's George in for Dunn. The Jazz have gotten only two of seven shots to go in the third quarter. George passes to Wilson. It's good. Set up beautifully by George. MP's got 11. Shut out from beyond the arc in the first period. He finally drains one. Murray passes to Watson. Here's Murray. Five on the clock. Jordan with a screen on Clarkson. Murray, no good. Since hitting two triples in the first half, he's been non-existent from out there. Jordan against MP. Got it up. No good on the buzzer beater. It's still anybody's game as we reach the end of three. The Nuggets on top. They're up by three. And we're coming right back. All right, let's take a look at our assist to the game presented by State Farm. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision. Substitution, Substitution here for Utah. Kessler, he's checked in for Olenek. MP comes in for Markkinen. Sexton's checked in for Clarkson. And it's done in for George. From deep, MP. The rebound by Murray. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Manning the backcourt, it's Murray and KCP. And the forward spots, Porter Jr. and Gordon. And it's Jokic in at the center position. That's the group on the floor for Denver. No good on the shot. 
Yeah, just a little off his game this quarter. He's trying to work his way into a rhythm. Impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. Somebody you can count on. He is an extremely reliable finisher. He's taking what he can get here as a three in each half. Utah's gone two of four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. MP a screen on Murray. MP outside. There's the triple. Gordon pulls it in. Gordon's got four rebounds in the game. Porter finds Murray. Now here's Jokic. He's covered by Kessler to take the lead. He got a piece of it. And it's out of bounds. The Nuggets able to retain possession here. We're in the final quarter play here. Three minutes in. Shot clock at six. To the middle. Here's Jokic. And Jokic throws it down. Easy to understand why they turn to Jokic in these situations. He has a knack for cashing in on big possession. MP outside. Kessler a screen. MP drives in. MP blast off. When they need it most, MP ready to step up. Outside Murray. Pass to Jokic. Good D by Kessler. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. MP, the flush. And he's not the flashiest, but MP can punch his ticket when the time comes. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Outside Murray. Pass to Jokic. The shot. Nails the baby hook. Jokic has got seven points here in the quarter. How about the big-time clutch basket from Jokic? No backup in him, despite the major pressure. MP outside. 54 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Talk about stepping up in a big way. Well, that was one, two. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. They're behind by two. 52 seconds left to play in the fourth. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. I was able to listen in on what the Nuggets coach was going over with his team. Coach had a clear message for his team. He said, quote, let's finish the job out there. It's ours for the taking if we can just get it done. So it sounds like he's hoping they can close out this game strong, guys. Great work, Allie. Thanks. And so MP will bring it up for the Utah Jazz. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Man, they needed somebody to rise to the occasion. No surprise, it's MP. Much in the clutch. The and one puts a little extra insurance on their lead. What a good play. Now a timeout called by Denver. They trail by five. 29 seconds left in the fourth. second difference between the shot clock and game clock. On the wing, Murray defended by Dunn. And another miss by Denver. Kind of wonder where his head's at. The shot selection hasn't been there. And of course, that one was just crazy. He gets the first, and that increases the lead to six. Two shots. And so both free throws good. And it's a seven-point game. That's exactly how to close out a game. Take advantage of every opportunity. Porter from outside. And it's MP with a rebound. Going inside. The second effort. 
And so it's Utah with the W. Just a gutsy performance on the road. It really was. When this one was up in the air late, they showed how tough-minded they are as a team. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Clark Kellogg, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. We'll see you next time. Good stuff. Good stuff.